Hey everybody, what is going on? This is Eric and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to completely automate your social media efforts when it comes to content creation, automatic posting or your different social media channels, doesn't matter if it's Facebook, TikTok, Instagram and all that. We're going to take care of all of that specifically for your Wix store in 2023. For the sake of this video, we're going to utilize a tool called Minta that's going to take care of most of the heavy lifting for you. So nothing technical, no code involved, nothing that is super you know i don't know advanced or complex i promise that you're going to understand everything so let's just jump into my screen and i'll show you how to get it done so in order to get started all you have to do is just go to the app store and install the app called minta so let's do that I'm just gonna go here to apps and the app market now that i'm in the app store i'm just gonna search for minta here it is so this is Minta and what Minta is going to do is basically take care of the entire automation and content creation process in your store, creating stunning product videos based on your products and collections in your week store and then automatically posting them to social media based on the criteria that you're going to decide. So I'm going to show you all of that in just a minute. Let's go ahead and install the app. There is a seven day trial so you can try it out and you know decide if it's a good fit for your business. All right, just click on add and agree. So now that Minta is installed on my Wix store, the app is going to ask me a few questions to help the AI create the best videos specifically for my business. So my store is kind of generic. So I'm just going to select home and construction. Now for the logo, the app will try to automatically find your logo on your store, but for the sake of the example, because this is a demo store and I don't have a real logo, I'm just going to use the Minta logo for now. And based on the logo that you have on your store, the app will find the best colors for your brand. So if I click next here, it's going to give you a few options. All right. And out of these options, you're going to need to select the best colors that are the best fit for your brand. You can always change it out later, so it's not a big deal. But if I go to my store here and just preview it right now, let's find something that is a good fit for our colors right now. It's more sort of a black and white type of theme. So I guess we're going to take this option right here. We're going to change it up later. But again, if you upload your own logo, this should be a good fit based on the colors of your logo, assuming that the logo is a good fit for your brand. And again, you can change these colors later. I'm just gonna hit next. And now this is where the magic happens. The AI takes all the information that I gave it so far, plus a lot of information that it's getting from the Wix API and generating tons of stunning videos just for your store. Beautiful. And as you can see, if I scroll down, tons of options for different videos. Again, this is a demo store with a lot of demo products, so I don't have really beautiful product images, but based on what I got here, if I just hover over any of these examples, you're going to see the to all product video. I'm going to mute that for now. Looks very nice. If I look at this hat, for example, also not too bad, uh, running pretty smoothly with all the information or this chair, for example. And all of these videos, there, there's a bunch of different uh, options. This is, for example, best for Instagram, best for Pinterest. You can go with all of these options for videos. So that's pretty nice. Best for Facebook and TikTok, etc. And, and you can really take whatever example you think would be best for your business. But this is just kind of throwing it out there. Now, let's say that you find a video that you like. I don't know. For example, this one. If you like this one, you can either save it for later you can share it directly to social media and these are all the options available here or you can just customize the video. So if you want to change anything in the video, the actual template of the video, change the text, change the color, change the, the images, change the, the slides in the video, you can do it everything from the, the video editor and there's a help video here to show you how to do that. But as I promised, this video is about how to automate your social media and you don't want to go through each and every video and actually doing it on your own. So now I'm going to take you to the part where the magic, the real magic happens. So on the top menu, I'm just going to click on auto post. And what the auto post is going to do, it's going to automatically on a daily basis, how many times you want every day, generate an automated product video based on the templates you've seen before. And there are like more than 200 templates and automatically post them into your different social media platforms. So you can work based on the best practices to post multiple times a day without you having to do anything. So I'm just going to show you an example. We're going to set it all up. As you can see right now, there are four supported platforms. We have 
Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest. And after we set it up, we're going to do like two or three posts per day per platform. We're going to wait a couple of days and I'm going to show you what it looks like at the end. So uh, follow me and let's get started. I'm just going to get started with Facebook. So as you can see, I have here a Facebook demo page that is empty. I got nothing other than updating the logo because I just don't want to have my real Facebook page in here. So I have this page. Let's go back to the auto post and connect it. So let's click on try it. And now there are a few steps you need to follow. You just need to do it once and you're done with it. So first we're going to connect Facebook and in here I have a demo page. So my Facebook page is connected. Next, I'm going to choose the days and times in which I want to post every day on Facebook. Let's say that I want to do three times per day on 11 a.m., 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. I don't know, 11 a.m. Let's do 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. Perfect. And that's going to automatically apply for the rest of the week. If you want to cancel any of the days, like Sunday, for example, you can just skip the day and click on done, click apply. You can also change the hours and times per day, per day of the week. It's completely up to you. Next, you're going to need to choose the products and collections from your store. Right now on this demo week store, I only have one collection with 14 products. So I'm going to select that. But if you have multiple collections, you can select up to 10 collections. I'm going to hit apply. Next, we're going to have the video template. So I'm just going to click on all design and start selecting from here all the videos that I like. So I'm just going to select multiple and just run fast forward through it so you don't have to see everything. Beautiful, so I selected a few templates. Of course, you can go through, there are like hundreds of templates. Just select the ones you like and click like. And lastly, you need to select the caption for the Facebook post. So I'm going to click on edit. And in here, there are multiple captions you can select. You can also create your own. And there are also dynamic products you can use, like the product URL and the product title. I'm just going to select all of them because I think all of them are good and I don't see any point in creating new captions. I'm gonna hit apply and I'm gonna set it live. Great. So now Facebook is running on autopilot. And if I click on done and head over to my planner here, you're going to see this is my content calendar. And as you can see here, it's being created. It's telling me that it can take up to a few minutes for the videos to auto populate and auto create. You can see that today I only have two videos because it's already after 11 a.m. So I'm going to have the 2 p.m. one and the one at 6 p.m. And for the rest of the week, I'm going to have three videos. And if you hover over them, you can actually see the time in the day in which they're going to be posted. And as you can see, I set it up to not post on Sundays. So that's great. If you wish to edit or change anything on any of the videos, you can just click on it. And then in here, you can change the caption. You can change the time. You can change the page. You can preview the video and you can also edit that if you want. So that's completely on autopilot. And moving forward, I'm going to have three posts on Facebook every day. So if I go back to my auto post, you can see that Facebook is now live. Next step would be uh, to connect Instagram. So let's just follow the same process for the rest of the platform. With Instagram, there are two things that are very important to do before you get started. It's important to mention that your Instagram account is a business account. You can do it through your account. It's very simple. There is a guide here on how to do that. And the second thing you need to do is to make sure that the Instagram account is connected to the Facebook page, which is, again, something super simple. You go to Facebook and then you connect it from there. Nothing crazy. There is a guide here on how to do that. So as you can see here, this Instagram page is completely empty. No posts at all. Now let's set it up in the auto post. So after I did that, I'm going to to see here the Eric test Instagram page and now my Instagram page is connected for the rest of the setup it's going to be exactly like Facebook so I'm just going to run fast forward through everything this time I'm just going to do two posts every day okay let's go and now I'm going to set Instagram to be automated as well Great, Instagram is now on autopilot as well. Now you can see that both Instagram and Facebook are active and live on auto post. And if I go back to my planner again, you can see here that I have both Instagram and Facebook being generated on auto post. One thing that is important to mention, as you can see here, you can only see uh, previews for the post one week in advance. For the rest of them, after a week, you're just going to see these skeletons with the platform on it and these uh, 
rocket sign on it. And the reason for that is Minta is going to make sure that the product information, product images, product prices, product titles, and the URLs and everything is updated to the current date. So they're only going to create the videos one week in advance. This is also to make sure that all the products that are being published are actually in stock and in the store. You don't want to publish anything that is not in stock and available for sale. So we're done with these two platforms. Let's move on to the next one. The next one is TikTok. I also created a demo TikTok page. Beautiful. This is a very sad looking and empty TikTok page. Now let's connect it to Minta. Awesome. So my TikTok account is connected. Again, I'm going to fast forward through the rest of it. I'm going to do three TikToks per day and just go from there. Awesome. So we're all set. I'm going to activate TikTok on autopilot as well. Now, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook are live on auto post going back to my planner. Again, it's being updated and it can take some time. And look at that. We're already in a place where Minta automatically generating and posting eight pieces of social media content a day on my social platforms. And we still have Pinterest to go. So let's go ahead and set up Pinterest as well. So for Pinterest, I also created a demo page empty completely because I want to show you exactly what it's going to look like after the posting is happening. So I'm going to go back to Minta and connect Pinterest to Minta and then keep going from there. It is important to make sure that for Pinterest, your account is a business account and you can do it by clicking here and just uh, it's, if it's a personal account, it's going to say convert to a business account. You click on it, it's free and then it's a business account and you can start using the API to post different videos to this account. So that's one. And second, you want to make sure that you have at least one board for Minta to post into that Pinterest board. So going back to Minta, I'm going to click on try it. Connect Pinterest, give access to Minta. And as you can see, I have here my test board. I'm going to select this one and click apply. I'm going again to run fast forward through the rest of it. So you don't have to worry about it. Let's just do three pins per day. Okay, so we're ready to go live on Pinterest. So let's set it live. Great, now Pinterest is also live. I'm gonna click done. And this is it for now. These are the four platforms supported by Minta. As far as I know, there's going to be more platforms added soon, but this is what we got at the moment. Let's head over to my planner. And again, Minta is now working on creating the rest of the pins for Pinterest. And as you can see, it's still updating and it's a little bit heavy. It's gonna take some time. So I'm gonna wait a minute and get back to you once it's done. Okay, guys, so this is pretty much it. There are still a few videos being generated, but this is it. Minta is now running my entire social media for this week's store. I'm going to wait a few more days, like two, three more days, and I'm going to get back here, show you the actual pages. Now, as you can see here, my Facebook page, Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest are all empty. I'm going to get back here in two days, so I might have a different shirt, and I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like uh, when we posted everything. I'll see you in two days. For now, let's just Minta do all the work and sit back and relax. All right, so it's been uh, more than a few days. I told you that I'm gonna get back to you in a couple of days, but I got a little busy. So it's been about two weeks since uh, we launched our auto post with Minta and my entire social media for this store was completely automated and I didn't do anything. Now, by the way, after three days, I had to disconnect my Instagram because I had issues with my Instagram account, not related to that. So everything worked other than Instagram that only managed to post three posts. Either way, I just want to show you what it looks like on my actual social media pages. So here is my Facebook page. As you can see here, this one was posted about 16 hours ago. Nice video. Here's another one yesterday and then another one and another one, and another one, and I don't really need to touch anything. It includes links to my Wix store, and this is perfect. So this is Facebook, and here is my Instagram page. As I mentioned, I only had three posts, and then I had to disconnect Instagram, but it's already managed to post three videos, and I already got one follower. 
So just imagine how big can it be if you have three or four posts every day on your Instagram page. Uh, moving on to the next page. This is my TikTok page. As you can see, there are plenty of different videos in here. Uh, some of them got up to 84 views, which is insane considering I did nothing to promote this page. Some of them got 40 views, some of them got more, some of them got less. But the, probably the more you go, the more impressions you're going to get on your videos. And I already got two likes to my video. So that's a great start. And lastly, here we have our Pinterest page, which looks very good. And I got a total of 560 views monthly. And this is just by having this app alive for like a week or so. Okay, guys, this is it. You now know everything you need to know on how to completely automate your Wix stores, social media, content production, and scheduling in 2023. If you have any questions or comments, just make sure to comment them in the comment section below. And I promise I'll answer each and every one of you. And uh, until next time, make sure to hit that subscribe button and like the video so you'll know whenever we release new videos. Until next time.